A third marriage with a 30-year age gap that ended in a year. Sean Penn doesn't seem to have had the best luck when it comes to love, especially since his last marriage to Layla George didn't last very long. Why is that? Now, it isn't clear exactly when and where Sean Penn and Layla George met. She is an Australian actress, so it's possible they met on a set of some kind or an event. Public knowledge of their relationship began in 2016 when they made a red carpet debut. As far as everyone was concerned, the couple were strong and completely in love over the next four years up to their nuptials. However, that was not the case. After the wedding, a close friend of Layla said that they had only reunited in 2020 after a stretch of being on and off. They got together and then they broke up. He realized he had made a mistake and when he felt he might lose her, he worked hard to get her back, the source said. It was apparently the time of self-isolating together during the pandemic that helped strengthen Penn and George's connection. She had been involved in the actor's nonprofit since the beginning of their relationship and during the pandemic is when they embarked on more humanitarian efforts together. They assisted in setting up COVID-19 testing sites throughout Los Angeles. Talk about a power couple, right? Then in July 2020, Sean and Layla tied the knot. Their wedding wasn't exactly conventional as it happened at the height of the pandemic. There are reports that you uh, recently got married, is this true? Congratulations. We did a COVID wedding. By that, I mean it was a, a county commissioner on Zoom, and we were at the house, uh, my two children and her brother, and, uh, and we did it that way. There wasn't much information about the couple over the next year. It was assumed they were living in absolute wedded bliss, but that wasn't the case. Just a little over a year after their wedding, George filed for divorce. She filed the marriage ending paperwork due to irreconcilable differences that led to the irredeemable breakdown of the marriage, thus making it impossible for the pair to live together as husband and wife. Wowza, that sounds like a messy split, right? Well, not exactly. Sean and his estranged wife rang in the new year together just two months after she filed for divorce. They were also seen together on multiple occasions. It was confusing because everyone thought they were trying to work it out, but they moved ahead with the proceedings by hiring a private judge. Ah, the lives of the rich and famous, right? In the court documents, the estranged couple asked to appoint Honorary Scott Gordon as their privately compensated temporary judge. As part of the agreement, Penn paid to retain the private judge's services, including Gordon's $950 hourly rate and additional fees. It's about money, Dick. This meant the pair could expedite their divorce through backlogged courts. Who knew? Just like that, Layla and Sean's marriage came to an end. Apparently, neither of them requested spousal support as they did have an ironclad prenuptial agreement that laid out specifics of their finances if they were to break up. Sadly, this wasn't the actor's first failed relationship. His first serious romance was with Downton Abbey star Elizabeth McGovern. They met on the set of Racing with the Moon in 1984. The pair fell in love and quickly got engaged, but it sadly didn't last more than a year. I didn't want to get married, but he did. Or at least he said he did. It was so exhausting. I couldn't sustain it. He likes to pretend he's not really a Hollywood person, but he is, she said. Then there was Madonna. How could we forget that? Penn was married to the pop icon for four years before their split in 1989. Almost 30 years later, in 2016, she expressed that she was still in love with the actor. She has also defended her ex-husband from reports of domestic violence against her. Then, shortly after his divorce from Madonna, he got together with Robin Wright. By 1991, the couple welcomed a daughter and by 1993, a son. They got married in 1996 and remained together until they divorced in 2010. Although their divorce wasn't amicable, he has said that they are now on decent terms for their kids. We have very separate relationships with our kids. As it turned out, she and I did not share the same ethical views on parenting, he said. Yeesh. Then there was, of course, Charlize Theron. They began dating in 2013 and split two years later. The actress denied that their relationship was as serious as people made it sound. She said even though it was an exclusive relationship, it was barely for a year. They never moved in and were not going to get married. Though twice divorced, the actor claimed while dating Theron that he'd consider his next marriage his first. I've been married under circumstances where I was less informed than I am today, so I wouldn't even consider it a third marriage. I'd consider it a first marriage on its own terms, he said. That brings us back to Layla George. After their divorce was finalized at the end of 2021, everyone thought that would be it and the pair would go their separate ways. But they have proved time and time again since then that they are amicable exes. 
Layla and Sean are constantly seen out on dinner dates and outings together looking very loved up. Don't worry, we're confused too. Penn did, however, reveal a river of regrets he has from his brief marriage to the Australian actress. The actor was honest about their relationship issues, going as far as saying he f***ed the marriage because he was very neglectful. There's a woman who I'm so in love with, Layla George. We were married technically for one year, but for five years, I was a very neglectful guy, he said. The confession continued when he said he didn't cheat or anything obvious that usually adds to the dissolution of a marriage. Penn shared he started to prioritize news from the outside world above his home life. He admitted that he was totally depressed and driven to alcohol and Ambien at 11 in the morning by watching the news and despairing. This is going to shock you, said the actor, before adding that beautiful, kind, and talented young women who marry a man quite senior to them don't love when they wake up and their husband is watching all of the crap that's going on in the world and has decided that 10.30 in the morning is a good time to neck a double vodka tonic in an Ambien. Good morning, honey. I'm going to pass out for a few hours and get away from all this shit, he continued. Yeesh, that's honest. Sean doesn't know what the future will hold for him and Layla, but he said he is working on what he sees as the problems with himself during their relationship. The actor shared how he has changed himself to be able to prioritize his loved ones. Now he doesn't answer his phone if he is spending time with Layla or his kids. He keeps his phone off and doesn't watch the news for 12 hours straight like he used to. Even when he's stressed, he isn't stressed the way he used to be. Although I still need vodka and an Ambien to get to sleep at night, I don't use them to hide from the world. I really put priority in my family, in my wife, in my life, in ways that I can plan and control. That's a theory anyway, he said. According to Penn, he knows that George is his best friend in the world and hopes that sometime in the future they can fix what's broken between them. I don't know what's going to happen with us. I know that this is definitely the most influential, inspiring person outside of my own blood that anybody could ask to have in their life, he said. Well, with that said, and the pair still constantly spending time together, we hope that they can reconcile, or at least live in their relationship in a way that makes them both happy. Sean Penn and Layla George certainly had a peculiar wedding and an odd divorce, so who's to say they can't continue that streak with a relationship after divorce? We'll just have to wait and see. Let us know in the comments below if you think they will get back together. As always, this has been Rumor Juice. Be well and be kind.